crafting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder, stopping in to share two brand new releases from our friends at Color It. Now, we love all kinds of crafts here on Tiny Worlds of Wonder. I do a ton of diamond painting content, but if you've been around a while, you know I also really love coloring. It's so relaxing. It's honestly my chance to be to be an artist, even though I never I never learned to be an artist. <laughs> And our friends over at Color It make it so easy. Today I want to show you two new releases that they sent me for review. Now I am a Color It affiliate, so when you shop using the link in the description below and you enter code JESSICA10 at checkout, I receive a small commission and you receive a little discount on your purchase, which is super nice. Now, Color It always offers a giveaway for every new release that they send me. If you're interested in finding out more about a giveaway for these two books, head over to my video called Drills and Chills Week Six. That's where I talk about the giveaway for this Halloween coloring book. So if you want an opportunity to get it on that, head over there. You can also find more information on Drills and Chills if you have no idea what I'm talking about. Drills and Chills is a community crafting event focused around all things Halloween and autumn. If you're a colorist and you'd like to get in on Drills and Chills, make sure you watch the video up in the cards. I'll have more info for you there. We would love to have you participate in Drills and Chills 2021. Today, I want to flip through these books for you so you get a sense of exactly what's inside. Color It has consistently amazing quality coloring books. They have these hard covers on both sides, top spiral bound so that these are easy to take with you wherever you go. This is called Colors of the Circus 50 Original Hand-Drawn Designs Adult Coloring Book. This is so fun. Let's just take a peek and see what's inside this baby. One thing I love about Color It, all their books are printed in the USA. How cool is that? These are all top perforated as well, so if you want to pull out a page, give it as a gift. That's super fun too. All of Color It's books also come with this blotter page that you can tear out. I love tearing this out and using it as a color swatch page. I often use the back side. Sometimes I test media on the little sample art that they give up at the front. They also sometimes give fun color combos, all kinds of things up at the front there. There's our nameplate page. And let's let's roll. The artist on this is, is great at drawing people. Turbit Basuki. Very cool. I think portraits must be just about the hardest thing to draw in the whole world, especially in line art. That's challenging. We have our trapeze artist there. I can tell already this book is going to have a lot of people. <gasps> I find a page in every book that's going to be like the first one I do. <laughs> I think this carousel page might have to be the first one I do. We have a nice mix of portrait and landscape. Very fun. Some more trapeze artists there. This time they're going over a waterfall. That's pretty cool. Really nice thick paper, kind of glossy paper. That chick's brave. Sword swallower there. Circus. Have you guys read the book, The Night Circus? Some of those pages would be really cool to do as kind of a, a spooky night circus. That'd be neato. That elephant is really fun with this cool mandala in the background. That's neato. Ball toss game. <laughs> Some dancers there. Really well executed portraits. Really nice. That one would be really cool with kind of a vintage vibe. Really neat. A clown that's not scary. She's playing an accordion. Some clowns are scary. I don't think she's scary. Circus, amazing, stunning, wonderful, spectacular show. Some fun animals to color there. Fire breather, really cool. Wow, those guys are cool. Amazing, some fireworks going off, super fun. Crazy clown guy. <laughs> I like this kid over here. <laughs> you guys see this kid? He's totally unimpressed. That's so great. 
He's like, I don't care about any of this. I just like my ice cream. <laughs> I love it. That tickles me. Very cool horse drawing. Creepy clown. This could be a fun creepy clown, I think. <laughs> that could be great. Since it's the Halloween season, my brain is totally in the Halloween zone, right? Some lions. Some popcorn. That one's really cool with the elephant. Really neat. The audience. With kind of our, our clown up at the top. Ooh, how cool is that? Really fun mandala page. If you're into mandalas, that'd be really fun. The mermaid, half fish, half human. She's beautiful. <laughs> She's a gorgeous mermaid. Circus, the amazing show. Fun clowns and stuff in here. Really neat. Oh my gosh, that one is gorgeous. A fortune teller with this really intricate mandala in the background. Wow, cool. Those guys look like they have they have body suits on. That's neato. Those dragons are wicked. Love that. Here's our whole crowd from the front cover. Our elephant, some, some ladies there. There's no way I could ever do that. I, I admire, if you can do the splits, leave me a comment. <laughs> That's amazing. You amaze me. Fun clown. Some kids witnessing a card trick there. These beautiful horses and flowers, I'm really drawn to those pages. Those are neat. Ooh, that one's really cool too. I love the background on that one. That's gorgeous. Circus Carnival. These would be so much fun to do with really bright colors. If you love really bright colors, this could be a fun book to work on. And if you love people, this has a lot of portrait coloring in it too. Really fun. Color it circus. <laughs> nice. I think I want some pants like that. That's pretty fun. I love these, these animals there. And you can put whatever title you want up at the top there. That'd be fun. Circus, how come I can't read English? <laughs> circus Carnival, the amazing show. Fun. That guy's intense. I love it. Kind of a steampunk vibe there. That's cool. Our ladies dressed as butterflies, doing some bike tricks. Some more mandalas in the background. Really cool. Snake handler. Ooh. That's what that's what's left at the end of the day, I guess. The end of the circus. Our seal. That has a pretty background too, holy cow. Really fun. And our fortune teller, ooh. That would be fun to create kind of a night scene, a dark vibe. Very cool. Very cool, Color It. That's a really, really fun book. Lots of really pretty color combo possibilities on that one, I feel like. Really, really fun. Really fun. Okay, let's take a peek. Since it is October, when I, at the time of this filming anyway, <laughs> I am all about the Halloween spirit at this point in the year. So when I found out that Color It was doing a Halloween book, I was so psyched, you guys. So Halloween first edition. This is so cool. The illustrator is Patrick Bucoy on this one. Here's our blotter page. So on this one, they put a really fun color by number activity. That's super fun. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna love this. <laughs> I'm gonna love this. Happy Halloween, creep it real. I love it. <laughs> so I find that sometimes if you, if there's text on a page, some trick or treaters there, and you're not necessarily super psyched about having text on the page, acrylic paint can be a really, really great way to kind of alter the text, make yourself a little text block. That can be really fun. Some pumpkin decorating there. That's an excellent portrait. Uh, Katrina. That's gorgeous. That's going to be so fun. It's going to be a great Halloween. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Some jazzy skeletons there. 
Awesome, trick-or-treaters. I like how the kids kind of repeat here. That's cute. He came upon a really spooky playground scene there. Ooh, I like that one. That moon is pretty. The owl. We have a spooky gnome there. A wizard. Oh, I love I love all things like wizardy and witchcrafty. And that's really fun. I'm ahead of the carve. <laughs> that's cute. Some of these would be great tear out decorations, actually. Oh my gosh, I love that one. That might be the one. I, lo I love I love haunted houses. Haunted house vibes. More trick-or-treaters there. Oh, that might be the one too. Well, actually I've already selected the one because I've already started one. But my next one might be one of these. I love ravens. Oh, there's some tentacles coming over the top of the clock. Welcome to Fright Night. Those skeletons are going to be fun. This is the one I've started. The one with the, the raven and the headstones. I'm going to do kind of a night scene on this one, I think. It's in process. I'm working with Prismacolors on this paper, and they work really well. Really, really, really well. And then what I'm doing, this is just a little trick for you. I like to keep track of my the colors I'm using just on the back, because I can never just sit down and finish a page in one go. There's just no way. So, <laughs> so that's a little trick for you. Oh, that one's cool. That one was a contender too, because I thought it would be so cool to have the, the backlighting. You could do kind of light around the edges of your figures there to make them look like they've got a little glow. This one was also a contender, because I thought it'd be super fun to do with ink tents. Maybe I'll have to see if I can get to more than one page. I'm a slow color, so sometimes it takes me many hours to do one page. Ooh, some zombie action there. I like how this guy just has a finger bone. <laughs> He's been under there a while. Ooh, those guys are creepy. That'd be fun. So this book has a nice combo of some creepy images and some playful fall images. That's awesome. Ghouls just want to have fun. <laughs> Sometimes the text make these great decorations for your house, but if you wanted to cover it up, just some black paint or something like that, or any color acrylic paint covers that up really well. Ooh, those guys are cool. We have a headless horseman. Oh, that was also a contender. The haunted house was also a contender. Maybe it's a haunted church, I don't know. Haunted house, haunted church. A vampire there. Owl, moon. Werewolf turning in front of the full moon there. Some shrunken heads with great expressions, I must say. Love it. Oh, haunted house interior. Love it. Some ghosts there. So some really kid-friendly images mixed with some spookier ones. That's really fun. Dracula. Kind of a mandala page with a spider. That could be really, really intricate and cool. <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> That's great. That one's also a contender. I love that page. The curtains are going to be really amazing to work on. And that little kitty is so cute. So cute. We've got the witch's cat there. Also a contender. This book was really hard for me to pick a page to start because there were so many that I really like. Also a contender. I just love kind of the magic themed pages. The magic shop. Really cool. Our spooky, spooky witch there. That's fun. Kind of a mandala with candy and pumpkins. This is our pumpkin from the cover. I like that. I like that pumpkin. Frankenstein. Kind of a sugar skull mandala design. Really fun. So many great ideas for images in this book. Kudos to the artist on this one. On both, really, but... Really fun. Fun and creative designs in both. Mandala. 
Um, happy Halloween, kind of a happy, that's a happy one. Another happy one. They're having a little Halloween barbecue there or something. Some pumpkin carving, really cool, really, really cool. I'm having a ton of fun coloring in this book. I hope to get a tutorial done with what I'm working on there, but we shall see. Life has been a little crazy lately, a little crazy, but we'll get to it if we can. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful week. Again, check out that link in the description below if you'd like to check out these books and you can save yourself a little cash in the process. Huge thanks to Color for sending these over for review. I'm having a blast with this page that I started in Halloween Volume 1. I hope you guys have a marvelous week. As always, spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.